the third is is essentially the otherness that comes into the room when there's an interaction going on in the implicit explicit realm. It's the mixing of the materials of your reality and my reality, your experience, my experience, in conjunction of with what we're talking about, whatever the subject may be. There has to be an exchange, and there's no exchange in video between the actor, the performer, and the audience member. But from a theatrical standpoint, um, the difference, the other is the reverie that's created in the room, the, the laughter, the, the tears, the um, emotional interaction that's created in the room when there's somebody receiving the information and somebody giving the information back. Well, it touches you. It touches your soul. And um, you mean you can go to movie after movie, but it's just a, it, it's not the same as seeing a live flesh and blood. And each performance is different. It changes. It alters from night to night. We're essentially herd animals. We're created to be with others. If a child was born into this world with with even all, with all its faculties in a perfect body, it's still not going to be able to raise itself. It needs the interaction with others, people who have already experienced it in order for them to grow and develop into their own being. Um, you can't do that in isolation. And so in that little moment in space, in theater, when you are telling a story and the people are part of that story now, where they feel included, that's the magic. People will experience more emotions in a live concert than they will just listening to the same song on tape. And then you couple that with the place in which they're experiencing it. Um, it can bring up all sorts of different emotions. Live theater tends to ask you to keep your mind working more. Uh, it's easier to be passive in a dark movie theater, I think. That when you have a strong arts curriculum, you have increased learning going on. Uh, in other cor in core subjects, math, science, English. Uh, and in fact, when we, s I mean, all knowledge is interrelated. So, you know, if you're going to perform the play Galileo, you need to know something about science. And if you're going to build a set, you need to know something about physics and math. Theater and performance, whether it's theater or dance or music, that's, that is genuine assessment. When you're on stage, you know immediately, was it funny? Did they laugh? If it's a heart-rending moment, you can feel that when you're on stage. So you don't need a grade from someone else. You know, you know. Uh, it's much more authentic than some bubble test. To imagine and to play in our brains comes from our ability to free ourselves from distraction. You're not sharing that with any other audience anywhere in the world at that point. It's this like romance.